Hey guys, welcome back. Is it easy to make tea? That's a question I received, and I thought it was such a great question because the answer to this question contains so many layers of how we look at tea making. First of all, what is tea making? Pan fry, steam, rolling, roasting. What are we doing here? Well, if we strip away all these fancy steps, the fundamental of tea making is literally drying tea. From the fresh leaf, full of water content, step by step till the end, we have that dry leaf that can be preserved for longer time. And that's what we call tea. So in that regard, is it easy to make tea? Yes, that's simple. Everybody could do it. You have a tea plant, you pluck it, and you let it dry. Here we go, you got tea. Because the plant itself has those aroma and taste, you don't have to try hard. That's why we use this plant, not the grass. We don't come up with all those complicated ways to mess around with grass because the plant itself doesn't have that property. Wait a sec, did I say it's easy to make tea because it can be understood as simply pluck and dry it. Well, the white tea must be super easy to make. Well, that is a common mistake. Even though white tea is just a pluck and dry, it is not easy to make that well. It's just like a panter pan egg. Simple, less step, less mistake, but it doesn't make it easy. To have a fine cup of a white tea, the technique in that is not mastered over a year or two. Well, since we can easily just pluck and dry the leaves, why are we coming up with all those complicated processes? Because it help improve the taste of the tea. It help get rid of astringency or bitterness and sometimes enhance the aroma, make the mouth feel smoother. Those are things that we achieve through various steps of making tea. And that's why sometimes from the same farm, we could have a black tea and oolong tea and they taste wildly different. Even though they grow in the same place, uh, they're the same cultivar. That's the fun thing of tea. And once you dive into the world of tea processing, you will realize this is a world of such depth and complication. 90 to 95% of what we taste of a tea comes from the process. And that's why if you go to different stores and they all sell Longjing or Tie Guan Yin, you will still have them taste quite different from store to store because even though they go through the same steps or come from the same region, it could still have such a difference because the, pro, uh, because the tea maker is different. I don't know if you experienced this before, but I did. Um, I walk into a tea store and I was told uh, a tea was, uh, a tea took say 78 hours to process and it's really one of the best teas. Well, now you're watching our channel, you probably know a lot more about tea. What does this mean? 78 hours of making tea were some random hours. 36, 78, whatever. What does that tell me? Uh, that tells me nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing, except the tea takes this amount of time to make. It doesn't imply that it's good or it's bad. How long does a tea needs to be processed? Depends on the tea itself. It's not just the cultivar. It depends on the batch itself different harvest time, you know, early spring or later in the spring, it might have a wildly different process. And it doesn't imply good or bad. It's just a neutral statement. Just like it's a green tea. It's not about good or bad. It's just a piece of information that I'm happy to learn. Well, oftentimes I like to compare tea with cooking because there are so much similarity to both. What is the fundamental thing about cooking is I eat, I feel full, and I'm not dead, right? Safety and feeling full. That's the basic. Same with the tea. What are we making here? Dry it, 
enjoy it. Not much. But we can also go further, pursue a little bit more. Say the extreme of cooking is Michelin star. What is so special about Michelin star? What make those food so exquisite? Yes, for sure we have to consider the source of the plant. Is it grow in fine conditions, those top-notch quality carrots and uh, broccoli. But it's not just about the scares of the food itself, but mostly about what the chef does. What the chef worked with the food, that is precious and that transformed the carrot or broccoli itself. Similar with tea. A lot of times we talk about the terroir, we talk about cultivar. What's the most important thing? Is the process. How is it processed? Is it processed properly? Uh, matching the batch itself. That's what makes that so different. Sometimes we hear people say that my family has been making tea for generations. Well, my family has been cooking for generations. That doesn't make me a chef. It is not rare we see or hear those statements that has a strong implication that this is supposed to be a good tea. Well, for me, good tea or bad tea has nothing to do with what is labeled, nothing to do with the legends or anything. It's only the tea itself. Well, back to the very beginning. Is it easy to make tea? For me, it's a yes and no. Let me know your thoughts. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep steeping.